Good morning folks and welcome back to another throwback video. This is the first laser cut craftsman kit that I have ever built. Uh, I, as I said in a previous video, I stopped using that glue technique on Windows, so uh, go ahead and try it and prove that you like it or don't like it. Uh, so uh, I, I went through all the steps in this uh, process here and uh, the instructions on uh, Joe Rudder's full steam ahead kits is amazing. I can't really, uh, like, I basically learned everything I know from Joe Rudder. He has, in his kit, he has a great big weathering page and basically held every technique available to a model railroader, even the techniques not available in this kit. I modified this little kit, as you can see, so that I could get light through the windows and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it was my first kit and I, you know, I put this up on the shelf and it really hasn't done anything since 2000 and... Eight. This came in 2008. I could be wrong by a year, but I don't think I am. I think it was February 2008 when I built this for the model for the Scratch Builders Guild website. Uh, Joe was kind enough to send me these two kits, uh, Farmers Market and Barrel Factory, so that I could build them on the Railroad Line forums and also on my blog at the time, Scratch Builders Guild. Um, Scratch Builders Guild is gone, and uh, uh, my thread over on the Railroad Line forum is still there, thankfully. Now, you, as you look through this kit, you see, oh, it's, there's 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 rough spots, so serious rough spots. On the roof, I can see like uh, brush strokes where I should have faded them in, and a little bit of weathering will fix that easily today. It's just that I left the build unfinished which is probably a good thing. However, using Joe's tech techniques, you can see on the wall that uh, the, the signs went on beautifully and uh, the texturing on the walls were pretty good too. Um, it just goes to show with, a, with some good instruction, these kits can turn out every single time. Now, is, have you ever heard of me say blue-green? That blue-green left because I had to add a lot of yellow to it, as you can see. A uh, little different techniques. I had to, to, to put sticks on shingles to make sure they stayed straight in some spots. All kinds of little doodads I did. Uh, I don't know if everything was necessary as this was my first kit. And I really didn't have any experience to work off of. There's my wire tree. You see, everybody starts at the bottom and moves their way up. And this, you know, might not be the greatest looking display of model railroading. Um, but this is my original display of model railroading and never be afraid to show where you started from. My name is Ron Perry. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.